Hey Power Users, so today we will be looking at the views from Dataverse and how we can use those in galleries. Because what you probably don't know, and it was pretty surprising for me also, that instead of creating advanced filters for your gallery items or data table items, you can, uh, you can instead use views uh, from the tables in the Dataverse. So let's check it, check it now. We will navigate to our galleries. And here I have gallery, which is based on the view. So I've created a view in the Dataverse. We will go into this next, so don't worry. And what I can do is also create a filter. I have filter gallery and let's check it. So I try to filter my table based on condition that board game is in the name, but you can use also text input, which you place here and you use this input as well. And rating is blank and max number of players is blank. This will give me about 2,300 uh, records. That's a lot, I know. And if I navigate to view gallery, I have same thing here, but based on the view I've cre created earlier. So as you can see, I also filter board games, but instead of advanced filter filters, I just use the view which I have on the backend. This is similar to SQL views, which you are using instead of grabbing uh, data from SQL tables each time it's performance. Uh, wise, so you can use this view for better performance, but with the 2000 records, I still did not manage to see the difference in uh, filter in the power up and, and uh, filter based on the view. But, well, so what can we write? I have just board games as a data table and views. And after the dot, there is my view name. Uh, view name content. No. This is the view, and the I name it name contains board game because this is essentially what it is. And what I've tried to play next, but this is unsuccessful for me right now, is to trying to set this view as variable or as a collection. This code com compiled itself but it produced no value because the, the view itself is not a table for us. It's some kind of the view data type. I haven't uh, dive deep enough to, in order to see what other operations can be done with this view, but it can be, uh, this can be uh, our gallery items and this is good enough for me. I can use it as, as it is probably Nothing else should interest me because I still have records in our gallery, which can I, I can address as this item. So it's it's all good. So those are two types of gallery items. They basically create the same thing. I believe that when the data will be when enough data will be present in your galleries, that then maybe there is difference in the performance. I've tried to do performance test on 2000 records and the, the differences are neglectable. So this is not the case for me. And how to create the view? This is really simple. Let me publish this view. And, uh, so I'm in the view. I just want to, uh, to present four columns. And based on this, I've tried to uh, filter those rating name, max number of pliers. Let me see what I have. I don't have here. I don't have database ID. So let's try to reference this and see what happens. Insert label, this item, data, base ID. So, as you see, I can reference this 
from my view because I'm grabbing the records. So I don't, I'm not entirely bound to columns which are here. I also can grab the other data, which is, for example, my database ID and use it in my collection. So I do not see difference between those uh, approaches from, from the data uh, logic perspective. It, that they are both good approaches. I can see that in order to, to grab this view, of course, you need only the board game entity. Remember to refresh it if you change the view. And if I go back, you can access your views from tables, select your table and the view section. As you see, my view is red. It's right here. When you click it, you can edit it. That's all. So those are the two approaches. How this clarified a lot for you and how to use those views. If I find any more usefulness in this approach, I will also let you know. But as you could see, the variable or the collection could not take those arguments. They produce no values at all. So there you probably need to use to still use filter. Please use the comments if you have any more useful full uses of this those views in our Canvas app. Thanks. That's all. See you in the next episode. You can check my other Power Platform Power Apps videos. I've produced a lot of content lately in order to help the community. Thanks. See you later.